What is up, everybody? Welcome to another brand new video. This is Searching for Hits with Eric, and I am Eric. Today, we are doing a flea market find video. Um, going to be broken up into a couple of different videos because there was a lot today. So, um, in this video, uh, two different vendors. Um, one had these packs right here. Um, the Seavers were what caught my attention, and I did not pay the prices that are on the stickers. Um, I was able to negotiate them down a bit. So um, this one, uh, I saw the Bregman and I saw the Bo Jackson and I saw 10 bucks. So I used it as leverage and I said, okay, I'll give you 10 bucks on that one. Uh, talked them down to um, 20 and 15 on these. Um, wasn't sure I was gonna get it, but it looked like one of them was a little off condition and we'll take a look when we open these up. Um, but $35, $45 for these three packs. Really curious to see what we find in here. And then another vendor had old packs, packs from the past. Um, I did not pay what the prices are. So we got some 2016 Donruss. We have some 2000 NFL football tops. I don't think I've ever opened those and I'm afraid these are gonna be bricked up, but we'll find out. We have some series two from 2015. These are hobby packs, by the way, uh, two of those. Uh, 2016 Series 2. This is actually a retail pack. We have 2017 Series 2. Uh, these are retail packs. One, two, three of those. Uh, another Donruss from 2016. Uh, there was a loan opening day from 2014 sitting there, so I couldn't, couldn't not take that. Also a loan 2016 opening day. Um, there's a couple more Donruss and... Uh, Never seen this before. One rookie per pack, uh, 2015 Tops Fire Football. Um, I've never seen that before. Um, all in all, um, I believe I got this all for 40 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think I'm actually, it might've been 50, and I got her to throw in a couple of packs of uh, a penny sleeves for me as a bonus. So that's what we are looking at. Um, we'll rip these packs open and see what we can find. I'm hoping to find um, at least one or two top tier rookies and some parallels, maybe an autograph or two. Um, you know, given the fact that some of them are hobby packs. But let's start with these jewel cases, which um, I'm pretty excited about. Um, I do have some of those penny sleeves over here in case these are not all sleeved up, which doesn't look like they are. Um, but before we break into it, just a reminder um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Love to have you along for more videos. Um, we'll uh, start posting more often again. Uh, also, leave a like and uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you think I got a good deal or not, and if I got my money's worth. So let's get that out. That Bregman is a rookie debut. I'm gonna sleeve that up because that's not sleeved up. Bregman hit the homer. The other day against the Yankees in the playoffs. Sorry, Yankee fans. Um, so this card, if it was a daily Beckett update from back in the day, would be having an up arrow next to it. <laughs> um, anyway, um, of course, the Bo Jackson is a solid card. Condition, not too bad. A little bit of a soft corner, but overall, not bad at all. Iconic card. Love Bo. Uh, we got a Robbie Alomar. That's his. Um, that's his upper deck rookie card. We have a, uh, a Pete Alonzo. It's a name variation with the nickname Polar Bear. I like that from 2020 Donruss. Uh, Jordan Alvarez, base from Series One. Bellinger. We have a Johnny Bench uh, refractor die cut. Uh, Bose uh, can't talk. Uh, Bo Bichette from Mosaic. That's 2021. Yep, 2021 Mosaic. Uh, we got an 88 Bonds. We got a George Brett sticker from 1985. I think I was collecting those stickers when I was a kid. We got a uh, Chris Bubich rookie card. Uh, Walker Bueller tops Chrome 2019. It's his second year card with the Gold Cup. Bueller, of course, going to be missing next year with the Tommy John surgery. There's Miguel Cabrera. 2012. 
I believe. Uh, the Rocket, Roger Clemens. That's a off condition 86. We got a Ty Cobb from Allen and Ginter 2020. Uh, Garrett Cole from uh, Gypsy Queen. We got a Griffey from 2020 Update. McGuire. There's an Edward Oliveris rookie. Uh, an OP Chi. Cal Ripken, 93 OP Chi. Uh, there's an old Diamond King of Pete Rose. That's pretty cool from 82 Donruss. That's a pretty cool card. Nolan Ryan. Uh, we got some Church's Chicken cards. Ryan Sandberg and Ozzie Smith. That's pretty cool. Church's Chicken. I've never seen those before. And a uh, it's the Home Run Leaders card. So, uh, 10 bucks. Not bad. I feel pretty good about that purchase. The Bregman, the bow, plus all these other cards, a couple of variations. Fair price. All right. Get that Pete Alonzo in there. Come on. Robbie Alomar's keeping Pete Alonzo out of the box. There we go. All right. All right, let's go to let's go to this box. Got that Tom Seaver sitting on top, and the Tom and the Nolan Ryan on the back. Um, shame that this is not in a in a sleeve. So let's get that Seaver in a sleeve first, and then we'll take a look at it. This was the off condition Seaver. Corners are real soft, but it is a 1973. Which is pretty awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> a 1973 Tom Seaver. Beautiful card. So, even in off condition, I will gladly take that card and add it to my collection. The Nolan Ryan, on the other hand, that's a 2018 or something like that from Heritage. We'll pass on that. That's not too exciting. Uh, we got a Matt Allen Bowman Platinum. 2020. Uh, do not know Matt Allen. Don't know if he's still in the Mets organization. This is a Mets box, actually. I didn't realize. Oh, yeah. Mets stars, it says. Should have read the sticker. So we got Alonzo. Uh, Jay Bruce. Not sure how much of a star he is. There's Bartolo Colon, and that is a gold card numbered out of 2015. That's pretty cool. We'll take that. Always loved Bartolo Colon. AKA Big Sexy. Uh, still trying to pitch at age 40, whatever he is, 48. <laughs> DeGrom. There's a Dykstra. That is a Dykstra rookie from 86. Nails. Used to like Dykstra a lot. Look at this. Andres Jimenez. That is a first Bowman Chrome of Andres Jimenez. Now on the Indians, but had a really good year. With Cleveland. That's actually a really nice card. And below it, it is the iconic Doc Gooden rookie card. Not in the greatest shape, but that's okay. 85 tops Dwight Gooden. Get that into a sleeve. Uh, now we're getting we're getting some historical cards, some vintage cards. We got a 1966 Jack Hamilton in pretty fair condition. Jack Hamilton, pitcher. Pretty cool. Love the vintage. There's Bud Harrelson. That's a 1972. Tops. Keith Hernandez. Got a Dave Kingman. Kingman, big time power. 1977. Tops. Cal Kuntz. That's going to be 69. Along with a 69 crane pool. A 73 crane pool, excuse me. 73 crane pool. That's in pretty rough shape. That spent some times in a some time in a in a bike tire or something. Uh, we got a Pedro Martinez from Bowman back in 2006. A triple play sticker of Reyes. Nolan Ryan, that's a 2018 Donruss 
uh, Archamski from 1969 tops. That's a pretty cool card in pretty good condition too. So I do like that quite a bit. Strawberry, Daryl Sutherland. Very nice, another 66 tops in pretty good condition. Soft corner, but um, Al Weiss, that's gonna be a seven, uh, 69. And there's that Nolan Ryan. So um, that was a pretty cool pack. I did I did like that pack quite a bit. Mix of a uh, vintage and modern Mets. Very very nice. I'm leaving these out, making sure I get let me get Shamsky sleeved up real quick. Most of these vintage so far have been in pretty good condition. All right, let's check the other mixed stars. This does not specify Mets. No, it will be a mix. So let's see what we got. There's a, another polar bear. So we got a duplicate of that. There's that Tom Seaver that caught my attention. No major surface damage, no writing on the back. Pretty solid 1975 Seaver. You know, is it going to get a 10? Absolutely not. But, you know, would it would it grade out at a, a 4 or a 5, maybe even a 6? Perhaps. Got to take a better look at the corners. There's uh, Adrian Beltre from 2017. Donruss. Got a Barry Bonds. It's a 91 tops. We got another George Brett. It's a George Brett Mini from 1989. Uh, Ken Caminiti, Jose Canseco, we got an 87 Clemens, we got a 91 Griffey, not too bad, little off-center, 60-40 left to right, maybe 70-30 top to bottom, we got a Tony Gwynn, Tony Gwynn sticker, <laughs> Bryce Harper from opening day, we got a purple Keith Hernandez parallel, there's a Jeter from Triple Play. That's pretty old. No, it's not that old. 2013 Triple Play Jeter. Horrible, horrible set. One of the worst sets in baseball. Um, even with, with it being Jeter, I'm not even going to put that aside. Patrick Mazika. There's another Big Mac. We got a Drake's Cakes Eddie Murray. That looks like it was cut off a box. Crooked, too. Uh... The Moose, Mike Messina. That's his uh, upper deck rookie card. It's pretty cool. Mike Messina. There we go. What else do we have? We got a David Peterson rookie. See how he pans out with the Mets. Uh, another Jose Reyes triple play sticker. Uh, Kenny Rogers. Traded card. That's his traded rookie. We got a Nolan Ryan super veteran from, uh, I think that's 83, if I'm not mistaken. Trevor Story, Diamond King from 2019. Uh, we got an optic purple Noah Syndergaard. Thought that would be numbered. It is just a purple prism, 2018 Noah Syndergaard. Uh, Justin Verlander, pretty old Verlander from 2010. One of my favorite cards behind, obviously, the Mucina and the Seaver, of course. Um, and there's that polar bear. So, not as exciting as the Mets stars for me. But, let me know what you think. Uh, you know, the 40 that I paid for the two of them, uh, I think I did okay. Um... But you let me know. Definitely some good cards, though. And this is probably going to be the order of my preference. Well, let me get nails out of here. The two Seavers are certainly going to be on top. The Bow and the Bregman. So, I think I did pretty well. But I'd love to hear your feedback. Let me know what you think. Now, let's move on to these uh, assorted packs. Again, uh, if my memory serves me correctly, it was $50 all in with some 
sleeves as well. So let's start with the two football packs. I just grabbed them because I don't even think I've ever seen 2020 football. Um, NFL superstar autographs randomly inserted. Let's see if we can see the odds on here. Do you want to try and freeze that? Feel free. It's pretty tough with the foil. Um, again, I'm, I'm more concerned with these cards being a complete brick when I open them up. So if they're not, that'll be a win. And let's see if we can ease them apart without bending them at all. And there we go. All right, so minimal paper loss. A little bit right there on the Stephen Davis. Uh, we got John Lynch. American hero, John Lynch. If you don't know the story behind John Lynch, uh, definitely look it up. It's worth taking a peek at. Uh, Terrence Wilkins gave up his fame and fortune to defend the country. We got Kevin Carter. It looks like we have a parallel or something coming up. There's Antoine Smith. It's something upside down. Johnny Unitas. That's pretty cool. A Johnny Unitas throwback. I'm not sure what the frequency of these being inserted is. If you do know, let me know. But cool looking card. Derek Mason. And who's the last card that's stuck to Derek Mason? It is a Bobby Ingram. So nothing too, too crazy. The John Lynch and the Unitas. Nice cards, not, uh, not mind-blowing. Let's see what's in the other pack. Hopefully we'll be able to get these apart and do a little, little massaging before I even open the pack, see if that helps. Just a reminder, please do subscribe, leave a like, and uh, leave a comment. Let me know uh, how you think I did at the flea market today. Give these a little more of a massage. Try and get them separated. There's a checklist right there. They're coming apart from the bottom at least. Moses Moreno. I do not remember Moses Moreno. We got uh, David Sloan on top. There's Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams. It's actually his... Uh, be a second year card, Ricky Williams. Troy Simmons. Ricky Williams had all the talent in the world and gave it on up. Another one to look into his story. Berline, Michael Pittman, Bryant Young, really good defensive lineman there. And Autry Denson. And the final card is going to be a Marshall Falk Season Highlights card. So, um, nothing too crazy in here. Got a checklist, but um, those were the only football packs that I picked up. And um, glad that was all I picked up because not much in there. Um, let's move on. Let's do uh, what's on top here. We got 2016, 2016, 2014, 2015. These are 2016 Donruss. Oh no, I did pick up that one other football pack. And then these are 2017. So let's go in order. There we go. Let's do this fire pack. I wasn't even aware they made fire for football. So this is gonna be new to me. Marcus Allen. Cam Chancellor. Really good safety right there. Cam Chancellor. On fire. I do like the design of this card. There's RG3. Robert Griffin. Uh, Emmett Smith. Force of Nature insert. It's a pretty bad looking card. Of 
course, Emmett Smith had many a good game against the Giants, which I did not appreciate. But um, what is this? Looks like an Atomic Julio Jones. And I thought this would be numbered, but it is not. Pretty cool looking card. Would have expected that to be numbered, actually. But alas, it is not. Uh, JHI is the final card. JHI, power running back. Um, two, two cool parallels. All right, now let's get into our baseball. Um, we'll start with the 2014 opening day seven card pack. Uh, real tough to pull anything crazy in opening day. Um, I have found opening day autographs in the past, so I'm not rolling it out. Can always be hopeful. Let's see what we got. There's the 2014 opening day design, Pablo Sandoval. There's the back, if you're not familiar. Mimics the Tops design, Hyun Jin Ryu Gold Cup, Joey Votto. We have an Evan Longoria. What is this? Opening day stars. It's like a sport flick. That's pretty cool. Never seen those before. Not sure what the rarity is, but we'll certainly take that. Miguel Cabrera, David Price, and Jonathan Scope rookie card. So, just laying out my quote-unquote cool cards. Let's move on to our 2015 Series 2. We have two of these packs. Uh, these are hobby packs. So, we'll see if we can get lucky and find a numbered card or an autograph. Try to see if I can get this to focus a bit. There we go. If you want to freeze that and try to read it, feel free. Now let's see what we can get. 2015 Series 2. We have Brett Cecil, CC Sabathia. Put that aside for my cousin Joe. We'll start a, start a Yankee pile up here. Ben Zobrist. We have, who is this? I do not recognize that name. Lisalverto Bonilla. Uh, Jerome Williams. Got to call your shot. What is this? Babe Ruth's Call Your Shot Contest. There you go. So, for a chance to win an autograph. Long since expired. John Neese. Hector Santiago. There's a Dallas Keuchel, second year, and a Jake McGee. So nothing too crazy in that pack. Let's see what's in our second pack of 2015. Series 2. <clears throat> okay. Ross Detweiler. Tyler Matzik. Alex Wood, got a Wade Davis, there's another call your shot, we got a first pitch, Melissa McCarthy, I want to say those are somewhat tough to pull, let me just take a peek and see if I can find, find where it says on the wrapper. First pitch. I can't find it. If you happen to happen to catch it, leave a comment. Let me know. There's Mark Burley, Travis Ishikawa, Christopher Negron, and Savelli. All right, let's move on to 2016. Donruss. This pack is definitely thicker than the rest. So if I had to guess, I would say that there is either a spacer or a relic in here. Let's find out which. Will it be a spacer or will it be a relic? 2016 Donruss. There's Goldschmidt, Billy Hamilton, Jason Kipnis, 
Delino de Shields. And it's a spacer. Ah, oh, a spacer. But behind it is a Corey Seager rookie. So that's not too bad. And we got a Cole Calhoun. What is that? 80, 85 style, maybe? 85, 84. Let's put the Corey Seager card in a sleeve, though. <clears throat> Corey Seager, the rookies. All right, let's see what we have in our second pack of Donruss. Faked me out with the spacer. Edwin Encarnacion. Adrian Gonzalez. Ben Revere. Got a Manny Machado. Back with Baltimore. That's like his third year card. Yu Darvish. Jun Ho Kang. And what is this? Oh, Troy Tulowitzki. I did not expect that. So a 2016 Donruss Troy Tulowitzki. Autograph from Donruss. So we did get a hit. Look at that. That is pretty awesome. Troy Tulowitzki had some really great years. Fell off at the end. We also have an Adrian Beltre. Future Hall of Famer Adrian Beltre. But <clears throat> that is going to be the best card of the video so far. Let's see what else we have in our other two packs of Donruss. Tulowitzki, legitimate star for a number of years. Dalton Simmons, Kevin Kiermeyer, Mark Melanson, Dexter Fowler, DJ LeMayhew. What is this? A Jacob deGrom numbered out of just 299. That's pretty cool. Jacob deGrom batting. It's a photo variation, I believe. That's actually really, really cool. DeGrom, this is only going to be his third year? Second year. So a second year photo variation. Um, not sure what that background would be called. <clears throat> but another Donruss hit out of 299. So a Tulowitzki autograph and a Jacob DeGrom numbered card. Uh, there's a Diamond King of Chris Sale. And it's not a photo variation because there is the base of the Jacob de Grom. So, got the parallel and we got the base. Really cool that they fell in the same pack. Loving these 2016 Donruss. Let's keep it up. One more pack. What does this pack have in store for us? We got Mad Bum, Madison Bumgardner, Chris Davis, there's Zach Greinke, Matt Holliday, Craig Biggio. What is this? We have a mascot of out of 49. These are really tough to find. We have a mascot test proof out of 49. It's a CN test proof. Um... I'm not sure what these go for, but this might be the most valuable card of the video now. Um, these are real rare. I, have, In fact, I don't think I've ever seen one in person. Um, 13 out of 49 on the San Diego Chicken. <laughs> Test proof. Um, to go along with the DeGrom and the Tulowitzki autograph. <coughs> Uh, we also have a power alley, John Carlos Stanton and Robin Yount, in case you were wondering. But yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I, I definitely feel like I got my money's worth out of these packs. That is for sure. And we're still going. We have three 2017 Tops retail packs. We have a 2016 Series 2 and 
an opening day. So let's see what the 2016 opening day has in store. Let me see if I can show you the odds. There's the approximate odds. They're pretty long in opening day. But uh, we're getting some luck so far. <clears throat> uh, Alex Gordon. There's Jake Arietta. Let me try to get back into focus a little. There we go. Uh, Sonny Gray. King Felix. Felix Hernandez. Striking distance. Uh, Bubble Trouble. Nick Castiano. Some sort of a of an insert. Bubble Trouble. Trevor Plouffe. And Cargo. Carlos Gonzalez. All right. Let's move on to 2016 Series 2. That's going to be a retail pack. Show you the odds here. There you go. <clears throat> Let's see what we can find. Thanks again for watching. Uh, leave a like and a comment. And like I said, let me know uh, if you think I got my money's worth. But uh, with those Donruss, I am pretty happy with the haul. Corey Kniebel, Vidal Nuno. Ari Dickey, Knuckleballer, Mike Napoli, uh, Kurt Casali, David Peralta, We've got a Steven Matz future star, Freddie Galvis, it's a, a rainbow foil, yeah, rainbow foil parallel on the Galvis. Hallowed Highlights, Stan the Man Musial, Trevor Rosenthal, Matt Marksberry Rookie Card, and a Steve Johnson. So I guess I'll put the Galvis in my pile as it is a parallel, but certainly not a very valuable one. Let's finish off with our 2017 Series 2, see what we can find. Thanks again for watching. We got Michael Lorenzen, Vince Velasquez, AJ Pollock, Roberto Perez. We got a Mike Trout. Spring training. I thought it was going to be numbered, but it is not. Still, 2017 Mike Trout. We'll take it. Will Myers. Jorge Alfaro, rookie card. Carlos Gomez. Uh, Manny Machado. And Ryan Rua. So nothing too, too crazy in that pack. <clears throat> Trout, probably the best card. Pack number two from 2017. Colin McHugh. Chad Betts, or Bettis. Uh, DJ LeMayhew, right before he came over to the Yankees. Jason Mott. Pablo Sandoval. Got a Randy Johnson, 87 style design. Even got the 87 style feel to it. Uh, MLB The Show, <laughs> there's a show code. Manny Margot, rookie. Conforto, Jed Jerko, and Nick Franklin. So, you know, the Margot and the Randy Johnson are probably worth penny sleeving. We'll put those in the pile. <clears throat> And our last pack of this video. We got a Jose Reyes. Koji Uihara. Steven Vogt. Matt Carpenter. Put that aside for my cousin. We got a Brandon Maurer. Okay, uh, Clayton Kershaw spring training card. <clears throat> James Paxton. And that is numbered out of 2017. I thought that was a little, a little odd. Had the gold trim, so we'll put that aside as a numbered card. Jan Alonso. We got another Sabathia. And Luis Sardinas is going to be the final card. So thank you very much for watching again. Love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Did I get my money's worth? Um, between the San Diego chicken uh, 
Test Proof at a 49, the Tulowitzki rookie and the DeGrom. Um, I would say so, plus all of the other rookies and stars. But love to hear your feedback. We will see you next time on Searching for Hits with Eric. Have a great day, everybody.